Hey, hello students. It's good seeing you. Here we are again with another art project. Now, this one is called Grecian Vase. We um, finished our unit on Greek mythology and that was really a lot of fun because so many of the things today are um, geared on Greek mythology. Some of the movies that we see, some of the superheroes that we see, all of this thing. So for your students, the art piece that we're going to tie in to the Greek mythology is we are going to make Grecian vases with Greek pictures on them or um, hieroglyphics or whatever they use, the Greek alphabet and that type of thing. So our project basically is going to be using paper mache and um, some styrofoam cups and bowls and uh, whatever you want to find that will work. And I did give you all, or you can find, a balloon. So that's going to be the first thing that we need, okay? You're going to need some newspaper. You're going to need some uh, either wheat paste or water and flour is great. So I mixed mine up already. And don't tell my wife, but I did use her mixer uh, to mix it up. And I mixed it in this, and we're going to put it in a bowl that makes it a little bit easier to dip out of. Now, if you can see when I pour that, the consistency, it's um, a lot like um, cake batter or something of that nature uh, when you pour it into the pan. So that's good. You also need newspaper, and we're going to tear them into strips. Uh, I would before you start blowing up the balloon and everything, I would get my newspaper torn. Um, any newsprint would work. Um, a heavier paper towel might even work. Um, so we're gonna tear them. I like to use about uh, one inch by five inch strip. And then it's easier if you separate them before you even get started, okay? So the first thing that we're going to do, you must cover the balloon. So I'm going to blow the balloon up. Now, any size that you want, but this is going to be the middle part of your Grecian vase. Uh, that looks... See, you probably knew I had a lot of hot air in me, didn't you? Okay, then I'm going to tie it. Now, if you're doing this for the classroom, I'm going to give you a little hint. Um, you have to announce before they put their lips on the balloon, trying to blow it up. Make sure that they can blow it up because you definitely don't want to put your lips on their slobbered up balloon. So, um, either that or you could blow up all the balloons because as you know, they'll probably be flying around the room and all that good stuff. So here we go, I have a balloon blown up. Now I also, you can use, I have an extra bowl here. And the reason I have that, a Cool Whip type bowl works pretty good too, or a cereal bowl. Yeah, you have to clean it up. Uh, because that will hold it while I'm making it, all right? So um, if you haven't done paper mache before, it's basically put this, now if you don't have the wheat paste, uh, I dip it in and then I use my fingers to squeegee it. And then it's just put the paper right on. And I like to crisscross um, my newspaper. And you gotta cover the whole thing because if you don't, when it dries, um, it will deflate, the balloon will deflate. So you gotta make sure, you have to make sure, you don't gotta do anything. But you have to make sure that it's all covered. And I kinda like the crisscross approach. And if your balloon, you get too much paste on, just take a fairly dry piece and put it over the top and smooth it in. All in all, you'll need about three coats on this balloon. And I like to um, basically make the last coat out of um, 
the brown paper towels that they have here. And the reason I do that is you want to try and keep this as smooth as you can because then it's going to make it easier to paint and decorate. So as you can see, I'm crisscrossing the newspaper. So actually, you're going to have to do this part of your project uh, at least a day, if not two, ahead of the uh, rest. So this is going to take you a little while to do it. Now, if you take too large of a piece, your paper is going to crinkle and it's not going to look as nice. It's not going to be as smooth. So um, you better figure yourself a good um, hour and a half just to cover the balloon. So um, good luck. And it's goopy, so I would either wear old clothes or uh, my cooking apron that I have on. Actually, it's my art apron, but um, that's okay too. Anyway, um, we're just covering the whole balloon with our paper mache. So if you don't have wheat paste or access to wheat paste, we have that here in the art room, flour and water works just fine. Now I'm going to give you another little hint. Um, if you're going to keep the wheat paste over, you know, overnight or something, you don't want it to get all mildewy and yucky and stink and all that stuff. Um, what I do is just put a couple squirts of either antibacteria dish soap in it or hand sanitizer. And there's a lot of hand sanitizer around these days. So um, you pretty much get the idea. I'm going to put a couple of drier strips on it and kind of blend them in so to soak up um, my excess paper mache paste. Okay. Now the paste that I use is this play box, it's called uh, wheat paste, but why buy it um, when you have uh, just flour around? It doesn't take too much. Start with the water, add the flour in a little bit at a time, mixing it. If you don't have, if you can't use a mixer, then um, use a spoon or something, but it's a lot easier. You don't want it too lumpy. Okay, so you're going to cover the whole balloon up, okay? With, I would say, you should have about three coats so it's nice and sturdy. Then, after you get that done, the fun part begins. What do you mean by the fun part? Well, you know how um, I gave you all of these uh, styrofoam pieces? You can use some, all of them. You can get some more. You can... Um, go to McDonald's or whatever and just sneak a couple uh, things out of there that might be fine or talk nicely uh, to somebody behind the register. So what you're going to do is create um, a vase out of these. You're just going to add pieces like I might decide that these two pieces look nice as a top of my vase. I could go like this. I could go like this. Uh, there's all kinds of things. Now, I'm not going to sit here and do the whole project for you. I want you to problem solve because you know what you do. Once this is dry and hard, then you have a roll of masking tape I gave you. You're going to tape on your extra styrofoam cups, bowls, plates, whatever you're going to use. Now, the finished product is going to look like this, okay? Now, as you can see, the balloon is the middle part. Uh, the handles, they just, um, the student that did this just took some newspaper and folded or rolled it in the shape they wanted and then covered it with uh, paper mache. Now, it could be just tiny little uh, pieces of paper mache. Um, the bigger the paper mache, the more bigger your strips of paper, the more wrinkles you're going to have. The smaller, uh, the less wrinkles you're going to have. But as you can see, you can see the balloon part. You can see this was a plate. This is a bowl. 
Um, there's other ones here that I can share with you. Uh, this is a different shape. There's a bowl on the bottom of the balloon, and then a cup and another bowl. This one has a long neck to it. So there's all kinds of possibilities, and you and your students use your creativity. And you are going to build, there's no um, right one. Um, I, you don't have to use all the pieces I gave you. If you want to add some more uh, different things, go ahead. But once you have the balloon dry, then start adding your styrofoam pieces and tape them on really good. When it's all taped together, then uh, make sure that you do at least one coat of uh, paper mache over the whole thing because the styrofoam will be pretty sturdy. It's a bloom that you have to be careful of not to get too wet again. And actually, you could probably, I um, cut up some paper towels here. You could um, cover the whole thing with uh, paper towels. So this project is probably going to, it's going to take a while. I'm, not, I'm going to give you enough time, um, so don't leave it go to the last minute. And uh, this will, the reason I choose this to put this on the last coat is it's easier to paint. And uh, the paint will cover um, the plain paper. It might be a little harder for the paint to cover the newsprint, okay? Now, the paint that we have here, and I don't know if you wanna to come to uh, the classroom for your final painting of the project, but the paint that we have here is uh, metallic paint. And we have uh, both copper and gold. So this is a copper one, of course, and then we use black uh, for the design. So you have to uh, come up with a design that you want to do, and this would be the gold one. Um, so to reiterate what you're going to do, the very first step, cover the balloon, three coats of paper mache. After that is dry, tape on your styrofoam pieces. And you can immediately cover that with um, paper mache. Uh, if you want to just use like the brown paper towel, which makes it easier to paint, or you can do a coat of newspaper strips and then a coat of um, paper towel. And you got to be careful with newsprint because uh, if you paint over it, it might pick up the black. So that's another reason why I went over everything with uh, the paper towel. Okay, it's gonna be fun, so um, have some fun. Now, one last thing. Um, we've had instances in the past where people didn't tie their balloon. Oh, I got paper mache in my eye. <laughs> There's instances where people didn't uh, tie the balloon tight or they left it like a week at a time and it kind of deflated. Well. I've done surgery on these balloons. You need another balloon exactly the same size. Uh, you pull the balloon that's deflated out, you put another balloon in, and basically, you yeah, blow it up like this and tie it. So don't plan on it. We don't have to do that too often, but once in a while, you'll have a student that has a disaster and you might have to do surgery. So Grecian vase out of paper mache and parts, it's a problem solving um, assignment, so your students will love it. Take care, have a good day, I love you, goodbye.